This is our 54 Ford two-door. So this video will cover a few different things. First off, there will be a very slow-paced walk-around of the car. Following that, there will be a second walk-around where I'll show close-ups of all the cosmetic blemishes. Then there'll be some clips of the interior as well as under the hood with the car running. So we purchased the car locally uh, from a long-term owner. Uh, he was the second owner. He had bought the car in 1974 and kept it all the way until 2019. Uh, in 74, he had actually purchased it from his neighbor, who was the original owner. The car was sold new in Joliet, Illinois, and stayed there until this year when we bought it. The car was resprayed once. It is the correct original color, Highland Green Metallic, over a green block cloth interior. Really, really cool combo. So the body, nice and straight, really no significant dents or dings. Uh, there are a couple little blemishes that you'll see later in the video. Um, but, you know, the, the respray was a, we'll call it a B-plus level. Uh, looks really, really nice in direct sunlight, but, I mean, if you get really close and get the right angles down by the rockers, you can see little specks of dust, you know, little things like that. But the glass and light lenses are all clear and crack-free. The wheels are in nice shape. Uh, tires, not positive as to the age, should probably do them sooner rather than later. Uh, but the polished hubcaps are in good shape slightly faded but you know totally intact midline trims in really nice shape with minimal oxidation no damage highland green is just a great color you can see in the sunlight it's got that metallic sparkle to it when you have it in dim lighting it turns to a really nice kind of dark forest green. You can see no wiper streak marks, nothing like that, just clear glass. And now here are all the blemishes on the car. Get close up. That's the kind of level of oxidation we're talking. Very, very minor. There are a few touched up chips in various places like around the you know driver headlight see some fade there on the red chrome hubcap and then some oxidation around the uh, door handle you can see the midline trim though is free of that oxidation really nice and clean and those are the little specks of dust I mentioned if you're down by the rockers and you get close certainly not glaring but you know the rest of the car is so clean it's worth noting you can see the trim pieces there in nice shape Weather stripping is totally intact, but, you know, slightly older. Again, just showing you the oxidation, not much of it. Get down low. There's a few scratches. That's the passenger rear quarter. And close up, you can just see that, <coughs> excuse me, the metallic flake. Now onto the interior. Uh, door panels are really, really nice. No kicked open markings or significant wear. Interior is definitely a highlight of the car. Uh, you'll see in the photos, you know, the glove box open still has all the stickers in there. Don't believe the dash has ever been refinished. Looks really, really nice. Uh, the analog clock is not functional. The radio is functional. The fan, blower, heat, defrost, that all works car does not have air conditioning. Odometer reading of 37.5 is accurate. It is functional. Uh, wipers, lights, all those powered systems are all functional. You can see that big singular floor mat is in nice shape. Seats, really, really nice. Impressive being original. Uh, there is a long vertical tear in the driver's seat bottom that you'll see in a second. But all the uh, the leather and cloth itself actually just feels really, really nice. 
definitely well taken care of. So there's that tear that should be stitched up. And then the passenger side, uh, while the seat bottom does not have a tear, you'll see one on the outer uh, outer side of you know, the seat bottom, we'll call it the bolster area, right there, you can see that. And then the back, very, very clean. You know, no real uh, evidence of wear or damage. 